So I'm continuing to build my um, prop set. And I've been looking at some Blade Runner reference, so actually what I came up with is some nice bit of Chinatown, I've no idea where it is, but um, I'm just looking at all this street junk here, so we've got a lot of crates and sort of stools and other paraphernalia, so I thought we'd just have a look at these stool shapes, and they're tiny, like, like these guys way down here, and you can barely see what they are, but I think we've got some, we've got kind of maybe like a leg, shape we kind of draw like this yeah we've got like a leg um some sort of cross beam and then the seat connected on top like, like this kind of thing and um, yeah that will do i think we're just going to do something inspired by that design it's not too hard we're trying to get a flavor so um let's start off with a box uh and now check this online it's worth building everything to scale so I've got chair heights. Um, so we're going to just pick something that's like in between these two values, like 0.4 meters. We'll do. So we have something that's 0.4 meters high, and we'll have it be. Let's see what feels good. Uh, maybe 2.8, 2.28. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So we've now got. A square box, and um, yeah, those, that, those divisions will do. I think. Yeah, let's turn into the poly and see where we get. So um, I'm going to start messing with this. So let's drag that up there. So what I'm going to do is cut some holes for the uh, main shapes. Uh, first. So let's add a swift loop and another one. And now I can kind of delete these faces, I believe. That would be good. So um, I don't need that. I'm going to press Q so I select without moving, which is useful. And let's just hide everything else. Right. So there, instant stall. Oh, apart from those guys, those guys can go as well. Uh, we can add a shell modifier to give it some thickness and you know that's a shape um, let's so let's give it some features um, now I want to make it it's got um, actually three planes of symmetry here and that's quite useful to um, take account of and then it'll help our modeling so I think these legs are really thick and that's not quite the aesthetic I'm after so let's look at trimming those down a bit um, so we can maybe just half the size of those, so let's do that now. Um, connect. Connect. And I'm going to get rid of half this model now. Well, in fact, three quarters of this model. And then I can add my symmetry modifier. There we go, so now I've got that, and then I can just tidy up this pulleys. That's a bit better. So, and in fact, I could keep that as it is, like that could be like a wooden stool. So let's um, drag this over. So uh, the plastic still um, will need a bit more shaping so I mean I think what I want is some rounded edges and let's see what happens when I try and do that so I set a turbo smooth mod and we get that which is okay actually so all I need to do is add some edge loops uh, to tighten up that form so let's have a look at that so we're going to need clearly an edge loop down at the bottom and Probably I need to tighten those up a bit and I'm just going to eyeball it to try and make it symmetrical so that guy can go to there, that guy can go to there, uh, 
and that's looking a bit more plasticky. I think another couple of edge loops on here would help it. So that, that, and that. That's looking like a moldy bit of plastic to me. Um, so I noticed that on the, the other design, there's a kind of like a raised area in the middle for like a like some sort of plastic seating pad. So again, in the theme of kind of uh, keeping variations, uh, I'm going to move that over here to clone it. Now, so I could maybe, for example, while I'm experimenting, we've got another edit poly. And go to vertex mode, I'm going to turn on show cage, and that gives me my whole view back again. So if you lose your, just remember to press Q, and you can see that it cycles through your different selection modes like that. So now I can select that and that. So I could do a shaping like this. We could have like a little kind of dip, which is interesting. That looks like it's sagging rather than shade. So maybe I'll just do the top. That's looking a bit more interestingly shaped, but I still don't like it as much. So let's do um, this. That's a bit more interesting. Okay, and then I can. Uh, tidy up again with some more edge loops, so let's look at doing that. Um, in fact, what we're going to do is going to take those guys, extrude, because they've the, already got the edge loop built in, and then I just have to remember that um, uh, when I extrude, it, it extrudes all edges, so I just make sure that I delete that guy. Like that. Yeah, that's looking. That's cool. I like that. Cool. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll keep pressing on with these props soon.